Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Tom from BV Security again. Today we're going to be taking a look at different types of cabling that you can use for security video. We're specifically going to be looking at the difference between RG59 cable and network cable and kind of going over the pros and cons of the both of them. So let's get started with RG59 cable, sometimes also known as Siamese cable. This has been around for a very, very long time. If you have an older system, this is probably what you already have installed. Let's look at some of the pros of this type of cable. First is going to be signal quality. RG59 is designed to transmit video. That's what it was made for. Because of that, you get great quality signals at long distances. Because of that, you get great quality signal at long distances without signal degradation. It's a reliable choice for security cameras and other video equipment. Another pro to RG59 cable is that it has very low rates of interference, meaning you don't have to worry as much about outside factors adding interference to your video and causing problems with your image. And finally, the last pro that I have for you today is that RG59 cable is generally a lot cheaper than network cable. You can pick this stuff up usually for $30 or $40 less for a thousand foot than you can a network cable. And finally, the last pro I have for you is going to be the cost. RG59 cable can be significantly cheaper than network cable. It makes it a great option for budget conscious video installs. Okay, great. Now that we've covered all the pros, what are some of the cons? Well, to get started, RG59 is designed for analog signals. That means you get a lot less data you can pass through this cable than you can through this cable. So that means when you're doing your install, if you're doing video, this will work great. But if you want to transmit data or anything that requires really high rates of data transfer, this isn't the cable you want to use. A second drawback to RG59 cable is it's a lot bulkier, it's a lot heavier, and it's a lot harder to bend than your network cable. Which means that when it comes to time to actually do the install, pulling these cables around can be a lot more difficult than installing with this kind of cable here. Okay, great. Now that we've gone over the RG59 cable, let's take a look at network cables and talk about the pros and cons of these. Okay, so what are the pros for this cable? Well, network cable generally has much better data throughput than our RG59 cable is going to have. It also comes in a variety of different types. There's Cat5, Cat5e, Cat6, 6a, 7, and so on and so forth. So you can find the right cable to meet your needs, whereas our RG59 cable is only going to be the one type. A second pro for this cable is going to be versatility. You can run this for your security camera installation, but you can also use it for voice over internet phones, multifunction printers, access points, and any other device that needs to have connectivity. And finally, the last pro I have for you is that these cables are a lot easier to work with. They bend easy, they pull easy, they're much thinner, and it just makes the install process a breeze compared to our RG59 cable. Okay, so now that we've talked about some of the pros, what are some of the drawbacks? Well, to start, network cable has limited distance ability. Generally speaking, we recommend about 100 meters or roughly 300 feet or so of a run before you need to get it into some sort of networking device. Whereas with our RG59 cable, we can go much further without having to worry about it. Another drawback to using network cable is that unlike the RG59, it is more prone to interference from electromagnetical sources. Now, we can limit that a little bit by getting different types of network cable with different levels of shielding, but it's still more prone to that interference than the RG59 cable is going to be. So, which cable should you choose? Well, ultimately that's gonna depend on what your needs are. If you're just running security video and you wanna keep the cost down or you already have cabling infrastructure in place, 
RG59 might be the best choice for you. If you're looking to have other devices or want to protect against any future updates in technology, the network cable is gonna be the right way to go. When making your decision, remember to include factors such as distance and possible interference. That can also help you decide which cables is gonna be the right one for you. So hopefully this video has helped you decide on which type of cable is gonna work best for your situation. Remember, if you have any questions, you can check out our other videos about different types of networking cable, or feel free to leave us a comment below. Once again, this is Tom with BV Security. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.